Um, well, I think it helped that, you know, Matt and I both own creative uh, businesses also. Um, so I think that's kind of helped us with the books. It's, you know, it's also a business at the end of the day. But, um, you know, collaboratively speaking, I think it's, I think it was our first book we did where Matt sent me like the illustration of the house and I text him and edit. And as soon as I text the edit, he had already sent me the edit. <laughs> like, um, also Matt, when I was, uh, I think it was last year, Matt and I actually were partners in a game of charades, wasn't it? And like, we like, when I was in Tampa, remember? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we really were like, we're killing the other team. Yeah. <laughs> like, I know, we, we're kind of in sync in that sense, the creative yeah, sense. Think, I think it was like one of us just did this and then one goes elevator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we do definitely though. Brant, Brant is more, I, I think we just have different ways of approaching this creative and collaborating. So one of us is good at one thing, the other is good at the other. And like when we're laying out a story, um, we usually do it on like a big marker board or something. I'm usually thinking in terms of like the visuals because that's like, you know, yeah. what I'm doing for the book. And that's kind of what, how I see it when I'm reading. But Brant is coming up with storylines and I'm like, how are you like thinking of this right now? And I'm, I don't know. It's just, I think it works really well together that we're both good at different things. Yeah. Like I'm definitely more of the like whimsical, like philosophical, like, yeah. And Matt's more dark. <laughs> yeah. Um, Brand um, keeps the children's themed and if it was just me I'd be turning into like crazy stories that kids wouldn't want to read because it's too scary <laughs> but I think as we've gone throughout like we're on book five like it's they're getting a little bit more darker as they go because you're realizing oh kids today aren't so naive with some things and so um it's getting a little bit darker and I know I remember when I came we were coming up with this Bernice and the Shadow Witch. Matt was like, "Oh, I love this." I was like, "It was dark." Um, and the the sixth book, which I'm starting to write now, like takes place in Halloween time. So it's like New Orleans, like that all the history there. Like it's been really fun to kind of incorporate some New Orleans, you know, myths and tales into some of this uh, storylines.